So it's a real delight for me to be standing out here at Lavender Lake Farm and I am with uh, Don Roberts. And so Don, what we wanna talk about a little bit is the, the hybridization of, of lavenders, because that's really, you, you've done that, haven't you? And you've created some really beautiful varieties. Yeah, we've created about six varieties that uh, over the last 35 years. So you can see some of them that we're standing in here. Uh, yeah, and certainly a lot of you I know will know the variety of Buena Vista, which was one of yours, was it not? The very first one that we wow. decided to let people grow. And still a stunner and still sold in, in nurseries all over. Right. Yeah. yeah. So tell me, first of all, when you go, okay, I'm going to do something with lavender, what are the things that you think about? Well, one really thinks about, and I thought about when we first was started, was the fragrance. Uh -huh. So the primary selection pressure from varieties was getting at one with a nice fragrance, and secondary had to be disease resistant, had to be vigorous, and had to be good appearance. Okay. Had to have good ornamental values. And then when, when you go to the part of, of starting to hybridize them, is it, do you get five plants and pick one? Do you get a hundred plants? What's that process tend to be like? Well, for example, when we did Buena Vista, we looked at about 4,000 individual siblings. 4,000. 4,000. And from that 4,000, we picked four that met our criteria. Really? Yeah. And then from that, only maybe perhaps one became Buena Vista, so the rest you really didn't move on with. No, one came Buena Vista, two other ones, one called Sachet was out of that first selection, and one called uh, Sharon Roberts was out of that first selection. And the fourth one we discarded. Isn't that amazing? So really you got three out of 4,000. Right. Yeah. So then one of the things you do though from this place is you actually distill them, right? And, and get the oil from them. Yes. Once they become ripe, as you can see, these are, we're standing by, they're ready for harvest. Then we take the oil and we use that for fragrance. And you do that right here. So let's walk over to the distiller and, right. and take some talks and walks there, okay? All right. Okay, Don, now we are standing what I'm gonna call the distillery. <laughs> okay. And first of all, before we go into each process, so tell me, what do you do when you decide, okay, we're gonna distill the oil from this variety of lavender? What's the process of getting it from the ground over to here? Well, first we look, make sure the variety is a 50 to 75% in flower, blooming. Okay. And then we harvest the flower, the stem and all, back down to the foliage and we put that in a vessel, it's, which is this white vessel here, uh -huh. and we pack it in nice and tight. We'll try to get about 400 pounds of flour, flowers in it, yeah. and we run steam through it, and the steam volatilizes the oil out of the flowers. It changes to a gas, and the steam carries it to the top and goes through a vessel that we call a condenser. It cools it back to a liquid, and then from that, it runs out of that into what we call a separator, and the oil being less dense in water, yeah. and it's not soluble, it flows to the top, and we can pull the oil off the top. The remaining water in is called floral water or hydrosol, lavender sure. hydrosol or lavender floral water. And all of that is usable then? Oh, it's all usable. And then, so it takes about, out of 400 pounds, you said, how, how much generally can you get from De that? Depending on the variety, if we were doing, say, Sharon Roberts, we may get a half a pound of oil out of the 400 pounds of flowers. Wow. A half a gallon, excuse yeah. me. If we were doing uh, Eola, we may get a gallon of oil wow. out of 400 pounds of... Absolutely amazing. Yeah. But essential oils are sold by weight, not volume. Yeah. So we, you may hear, hear me say pounds rather than quarts. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, still, it's just amazing that it takes so much to get that small of amount. Well, you know, out, out here is lovely. It's a beautiful place. They have a great gift shop as well. So you can uh, go to gardentime.tv. We'll click you over to their website. You get their hours. It's a great time to come out because the lavender is in beautiful bloom right now. Thank you so much, Don. Sure.